Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the Windows Registry. In the past, in my previous videos, I've always showed how to edit the registry and hack into it to change the values to tweak your PC for performance and improve the way that your PC works in Windows. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about how the Windows Registry itself is set up so you can understand a little bit better and know what you're really trying to do. Now the Windows Registry obviously is accessed by typing regedit in the run command, right? So if you click on start and then click on run, type in regedit, one word, no spaces, and then hit enter. There you go. The Windows Registry comes up. Now let me sh talk a little bit about these different areas in the Windows Registry, okay? First of all, let's talk about these five different areas that the registry is divided into. They're called hives, okay, these five areas. Now these hives themselves are stored in your C colon backslash Windows System32 folder, right? These are configuration settings that are stored under the config area of your System32 folder, okay? Now, let's talk about these five areas. The first one, the H key underscore classes underscore root. This one is used to store the file types the file extensions, it tells your Windows how to handle the different file types and which user interface options to use. Okay, so that's what the H key underscore classes underscore root is used for. Now, the next one, the H key underscore users. This one keeps the system information about every user on the system. So, if you have multiple people logging onto the machine, for example, different types of users that's stored in there, their profiles. The next one, the H key underscore current underscore user. This one contains the system setup information for the machine's current user. Okay, so this includes like the desktop preferences, their wallpaper, uh, things like that, their printer and security settings, stuff like that, okay? The next one, the H key underscore local underscore machine, this hive stores the information about the computer itself and the hardware configuration that's attached to it. So whatever keyboard you have, mouse, uh, hard drive that you have installed, things like that, that's all in there. All that information's in there and more. Okay, the next one after that, the H key underscore current underscore config. This hive keeps the current hardware configuration during your active session. So when you log into your machine, if you have certain things configured and set up hardware wise, well, it's keeping that configuration setting in that registry hive, okay? All right, so in the past, when we've gone into the registry by typing regedit, we've actually gotten the list of these hives, right? These five different areas, and you've seen plus signs in front of them. And under that, there are keys. So these yellow folders, as we click on the plus sign and expand them, we see sub keys okay so these are sub keys that's what these are called and as you select and go and expand further each sub key then you're obviously going to get down into the values that are within each of these right and that's what editing hacking tweaking windows is all about whenever you're changing the behavior and settings you're actually changing these values okay and these values are being stored in here so whether you're using Tweak UI, Tweak VI, or other uh, programs or manually editing it, the bottom line is all of this information is actually being stored here in this registry, okay, in these values, okay. So in my previous videos, you've seen that I've told you how to go in and specifically edit a value to do some performance tweaking, right. So this would apply for any other type of setting whether it's the user information, profile information, your desktop, your, your icons, anything. All of that is stored here as different values. And of course, each of these uh, keys, when you go to edit them, these different types of, of, of editing values, there's different types of things, right? There's numbers, there's text. It all depends on what you're trying to do, right? So. You don't want to go in and start changing things if you don't know what each of these values mean, right? So that's why you got to be very specific, follow my videos, follow my instructions, and if you can, always make a restore point in Windows, 
or back up your registry, right? So that way you have a backup that you can restore from, right? So um, use the Windows Restore feature, do a checkpoint, and then you can go in and do some tweaking. Then you can change the values and see the results next time you reboot the PC, okay? So that's what the Win Windows Registry is all about. It's stored into those, into those different areas, the configurations, and into those different five hives, okay? So um, just remember, if you're trying to search for something, of course, it gets a little bit uh, difficult to try to find what you want. So you can always use the search feature, the find feature within the registry, right? You can either press Control F or go in here at the toolbar and do a find and then search for what it is that you need and then find it, okay? And that way you can find it quickly and do some editing. Some people want to delete the uh, history of, of, of files, remove orphan files, remove um, references to programs that no longer exist or installed on the computer. Um, sometimes you get errors about a file that keeps popping up. It's not able to find that file and you know that you deleted that file but that registry keeps popping up that it's looking for that file. Well, if you go in and find the name of that file in the registry, you can delete it. So next time you reboot the computer, it won't ask for that file anymore because you deleted the value. You deleted that reference in the registry, right? So there's a lot of things that you can do to clean up the registry that sometimes other programs like CC Cleaner or um, or any other registry tweak programs cannot do for you, right? So then you'll have to go in manually and try to tweak it and, and do it yourself, right? But before you do that, you need to understand what you're trying to do here and what you're dealing with. So that's why I thought I'd put this video together so you can get a good idea on how and what the registry is all about. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.